BrainWise presents Grade 6, Math, Quiz B, Part 2 Beep beep! Math alert! This is a special bulletin for all super smart cookies out there. BrainWise is bringing you a math quiz that's out of this world! Get ready for a brain-boosting adventure filled with fun puzzles and tricky questions! Think you can handle the challenge? Buckle up, Brainiacs! And let's blast off on this math-tastic journey! Easy round! Number 1. What is the smallest number that is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6? Again! What is the smallest number that is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6? The choices are A. 30 B. 60 C. 120 D. 240 The correct answer is B. 60 Number 2. Which of the following lists the numbers in order from least to greatest? Again, which of the following lists the numbers in order from least to greatest? The choices are A. Negative 1 half, negative 3 fourths, 0 0.6, 5 eighths, B. Negative 3 fourths, negative 1 half, 5 eighths, 0 0.6, C. Negative 3 fourths, negative 1 half, 0 0.6, 5 eighths, D. 5 eighths, 0 0.6, negative 1 half, negative 3 fourths. The correct answer is C, negative 3 fourths, negative 1 half, 0 0.6, 5 eighths. Number 3. A shirt is on sale for $24, which is a 25% discount off the original price. What was the original price of the shirt? Again, a shirt is on sale for $24, which is a 25% discount off the original price. What was the original price of the shirt? The choices are A. $28 B. $30 C. $32 D. $36 The correct answer is C, $32. Number 4. Which equation shows the associative property? Again, which equation shows the associative property? The choices are A, 5 plus 3 equals 3 plus 5. B, the product of 4 and 2 multiplied by 3 equals 4 times the product of 2 and 3. C. 6 times the sum of 7 and 2 equals the sum of the product of 6 and 7 and the product of 6 and 2. D. 8 plus 0 equals 8. The correct answer is B. The product of 4 and 2 multiplied by 3 equals 4 times the product of 2 and 3. Number 5. What is the unit's digit of 3 raised to the power of 100? Again, what is the unit's digit of 3 raised to the power of 100? The choices are A. 1 B. 3 C. 7 D. 9 The correct answer is A. 1 Woohoo! You guys cruised through the easy round like math superstars! But don't get too comfy because things are about to get trickier! Are you ready for the average round? I bet you are! Let's see if you can keep that amazing energy going! Average round Number 1 The ratio of the sides of a triangle is 3 to 4 to 5. If the perimeter of the triangle is 36 centimeters, what is the length of the longest side? Again, the ratio of the sides of a triangle is 3 to 4 to 5. If the perimeter of the triangle is 36 centimeters, what is the length of the longest side? The choices are A. 9 centimeters B. 
12 centimeters. C. 15 centimeters. D. 18 centimeters. The correct answer is C, 15 centimeters. Number two, it takes six workers for hours to build a fence. How long would it take eight workers to build the same fence? Again, it takes six workers for hours to build a fence. How long would it take eight workers to build the same fence? The choices are A, two hours, B, two and a half hours, C, three hours, D, three and a half hours. The correct answer is C. 3 hours. Number 3. Which number is divisible by both 4 and 9? Again, which number is divisible by both 4 and 9? The choices are A. 126 B. 288 C. 342 D. 456 The correct answer is B. 288 Number 4. Which of the following numbers is the largest? Again, which of the following numbers is the largest? The choices are A. 3.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 B. 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 2 C. 4.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 D. 1.9 times 10 to the power of negative 1. The correct answer is D. 1.9 times 10 to the power of negative 1. Number 5. A rectangular park is 124.8 meters long and 53.2 meters wide. Which is the closest estimate for the perimeter of the park? Again, a rectangular park is 124.8 meters long and 53.2 meters wide. Which is the closest estimate for the perimeter of the park? The choices are A. 180 meters B. 260 meters C. 360 meters D. 6500 meters The correct answer is C. 360 meters. Wow! You guys are math wizards! The average round definitely didn't slow you down! But now, it's time for the ultimate challenge! The difficult round! Get ready to flex those brain muscles, because these questions are going to be tough! Good luck! You got this! Difficult round Number 1. A recipe calls for 2.7 liters of juice. If you only have a measuring cup that holds 0.5 liters, about how many times will you need to fill the measuring cup? Again, a recipe calls for 2.7 liters of juice. If you only have a measuring cup that holds 0.5 liters, about how many times will you need to fill the measuring cup? The choices are A. 5 B. 11 C. 
15. D. 20. The correct answer is B, 11. Number two, Liam's monthly income is for $100. He spends one fifth of his income on rent, one quarter on food, and three tenths on transportation. The rest he saves. How much does Liam save each month? Again, Liam's monthly income is for $100. He spends one fifth of his income on rent, one quarter on food, and three tenths on transportation. The rest he saves. How much does Liam save each month? The choices are A. $60 B. $100 C. $140 D. $260 The correct answer is B, $100. Number 3. David borrows $1,000 from his parents to buy a used car. They agree on a simple interest rate of 3% per year. If David pays back the loan after two years, how much interest will he have paid? Again, David borrows $1,000 from his parents to buy a used car. They agree on a simple interest rate of 3% per year. If David pays back the loan after two years, how much interest will he have paid? The choices are A. $60 B. $120 C. $2,120 D. $2,600 The correct answer is B, $120. Number 4. A squirrel hides 3 nuts on Monday, 6 nuts on Tuesday, 12 nuts on Wednesday, and so on, doubling the number of nuts hidden each day. How many nuts will the squirrel hide on Sunday? Again, a squirrel hides 3 nuts on Monday, 6 nuts on Tuesday, 12 nuts on Wednesday, and so on, doubling the number of nuts hidden each day. How many nuts will the squirrel hide on Sunday? The choices are A. 36 nuts B. 72 nuts C. 144 nuts D. 192 nuts The correct answer is D, 192 knots. Number 5. Michael wants to buy a new bike that costs $250. He already has $75 saved. If he saves $20 each week, how many weeks will it take him to save enough money for the bike? Again, Michael wants to buy a new bike that costs $250. He already has $75 saved. If he saves $20 each week, how many weeks will it take him to save enough money for the bike? The choices are A. 7 weeks B. 8 weeks C. 9 weeks D. 10 weeks
The correct answer is C. Nine weeks. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You've made it through all three rounds of our math quiz challenge. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome learning adventures. Keep those brains buzzing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! How did you go? Let me know in the comments below how many questions you got right. Check out other videos from BrainWise.